Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a set of videos looking at some of the new unit models that come with the Age of Sigmar starter box set. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be comparing sizes with other GW models that I have as well in my collection. So first up this week, we have the 10 man unit or 2 5 man unit of Stormcast Liberators that come with it. Now these are great, they go together pretty easy, I had no problems trying to put these guys together, come off the sprue pretty nice. Um, so you get 10 of these or you can have a 2 5 man unit if you want, I'm not sure how it goes with the rules of them. But uh, for now I'll just do it as a 10 man unit. Now there are 4 duplicates. You get your 2 unit leaders which are individual and then you get 4 sets of 2 guys that are the same. So you have the guy with this pose and then for the other unit you get the exact same. So in the flesh these models are much nicer looking than they are in the pictures. Um, I've said it loads of times, uh, in the flesh they're much nicer. Um, the models are great, the poses are dynamic as ever. Um, even if they are a little bit static, but they're still kind of pretty dynamic looking. And have a look at this guy. Uh, the details in them are great. Zoom in a little bit more. Um, for starter set models, they're absolutely incredible. The shields are nice looking. Um, a lot of people don't like the heads with the masks, there's no faces, but I like them, doesn't seem to bother me too much. Uh, the hammers look great, the weapons they have and everything. Uh, and as I said, there wasn't pretty much any problems getting these guys off the sprue, uh, cleaning them up and getting them on the bases and put together. And the poses are a little bit static, you know. But they do have, but I think this army is a little bit more elitist, so you're not going to see too many of the same units or too many big units of them. Um, but the variations are nice, you know. Um, you get the two unit leaders, two of them are different looking, they're not static like the other ones. I'll zoom in and have a look at the first guy. There is a little bit of a, more detail on these guys. Uh, like, example, the shield has a bit more, it has like the little Sigma right in there. Um, it has a robe on the back of this guy, you know, the feet, he's standing on a rock. And you have a couple of more of those, I don't know what they are, but I'm just going to call them little prayer scroll things hanging out. And they're holding the hammer in a different way. And they have like the ponytail as well, coming out. Uh, that guy is nice. I think, oh, I think this guy is a little bit nicer. The pose is a bit more dynamic it's a bit more of a nicer look to it the shield is generally the same it has the robe as well on the back and the rock is a little bit different it has a little bit of a plant coming out and does he have the ponytail yes he does have the ponytail and the shoulder pads focus or well, one of the shoulder pads at least is a little bit different it has kind of a bit of a line marking on it i think you might probably get a better look on this guy Yeah, you can see it there better. Uh, instead of just having a blank one and the Sigma hammer on the other one, like the rest of the guys do. So the unit's nice. Um, make sure to have a look at them in the flesh before you can judge them too much. Because as I said before numerous times, they are much nicer looking when you have them in front of you. And uh, They're on 40 millimeter bases so I'm going to do the size comparison now so that's the size of Terminator bases so some of the models I have just to compare sizes and move these guys back and I'll get just a normal static guy so we have this guy now the only kind of human model I could find is this little running away guy from the giant kit so let me just lower the camera a little bit just to get a better view of the the head on size. I'll just move them back so I won't be focused now. So there you go, as you can see, the Stormcast Eternals pretty much tower over a normal size guy. You know, maybe this guy might be a little bit smaller than usual because he is a little peasant, but he is towering over him. So then the next size up I have, which is what everybody compares these to, 
is a Space Marine. Um, they're bigger than a Space Marine. Uh, I think this head kind of just barely goes up to his chin. They're much more bulkier. Um, obviously the base size is much bigger. So um, yeah, much bigger than a Space Marine. Now the next one up is the guy that has the same base size. Base size are matching two forty millimeter bases. Um, this one I had to look at a little bit extra because I think the Terminator, the Stormcaster Term guy, is a little bit taller, but he's standing more up straight, whereas the Terminator is kind of leaning a little bit. But if you look at him this way, I think the Terminator has it in a bit more bulk. Um, the Terminator's arms are pretty much straight down by his side, whereas the Stormcast guy, his arms are kind of out a bit more. He's holding the hammer out a bit. So I think the Terminator has it in size for this one. He's a little bit more bulkier, a little bit more thicker. You, know, you can see it there as well. There's a lot more in him. So I am the Terminator is the bigger size in that one. So next up is one of the biggest units, or one of the biggest guys in the fantasy world. Is the, oh, I even have to zoom out for this guy. Is the Ogre. Now Ogres are always known as being big, but this guy pretty much towers over him. Hasn't got the armor, hasn't got as good weapons, but he's absolutely huge compared to him. I think the Stormcast guy probably just goes up to his chin maybe. So that's another one for the Ogres, much bigger. And finally, just for fun, because I found a model when I was looking through some, we have a Demon Prince. I even have to zoom out again for this guy. Uh, it's just fun to compare sizes. Now, this lift went head to head. Stormcast guy just barely goes up to his chest. Even the Demon Prince has to look down on him. So, you know, they look big until you compare him to a lot of the stuff. I didn't think he'd be that much smaller compared to a Demon Prince. So, that's it for the video. Um, next video I will most likely do one of the chaos guys from the starter box just to mix it up a little bit um, yeah so that's it for the liberators they have the shield and they have their hammer I think they're pretty nice looking um, they're cool I'm looking forward to painting them up I'm still not sure what skin to do with. but um, yeah let me know what you guys think of the Stormcast Eternals especially the liberators with these guys so uh, leave a comment below, hit the like button, and comment if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.